Time to show the world who really Spider-Man is. Who is the menace who is threatening us under that mask? It is time that we show the world who you really are. What? He's Spider-Man no more? Why? No, no, no. This is not what I'm looking for. Everybody knows Spider-Man is a menace. He's not a menace. If you're going to be like that, I'm not going to give you any more photos. To find the worst picture we can find of Spider Man in here. Let's process this. Parker, Parker, come here! That's Spider Man no more. Anybody finds me the Spider Man mask and better, the Spider Man suit, I will reward him with a big, big reward. I know who you are. You're here for the photography job. Correct. Do everything at all costs to make Spider-Man look like the menace he is. In this job. Where is our Spider-Man? That Spider-Man suit is going to be mine and I will do anything to get it back. Oh yes! The Spider-Man suit. For years I've been trying to get a hold of you. And now, it's finally mine! Hey guys, welcome to our seventh video. And today we're still covering our lesson on struggle. Hey, where did all this money come from? Hey guys, what are you guys doing? Hey guys! This is where the fun begins. It's game time. Hey guys, welcome to Star Wars. Today, you know what, before we get started, let's introduce our characters for today. All right, first we have Brother Dog. Who in the dog time? Ooh, 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 ooh. Our next character, Brother Tiger. Urgh. He's great. All right, Brother Tiger. Sister Elephant. I'm penis for the Lord. Alright, next we have Kafu Panda. Next we have the Ninja Turtle. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go, go. Alright, we have Brother Monkey. We have Banana. Alright, next we have Brother B. I like Brother Alright, next we have Brother Lion. Alright, are you ready? Are you guys ready? Alright guys, we're getting ready to play Star Wars. Do you have the winner? Alright, are you guys ready? Alright, round one. Here we have Brother Dog versus Brother Tiger. May the Lord be with you. Alright, Brother Tiger. Round two. Kung Fu Panda versus Brother Tiger. May the Lord be with you. Versus Kung Fu Panda. May the Lord be with you. All right, 
Coffee Panda! Round four! We have the Ninja Turtle versus the Kafu Panda! May the Lord be with you! <laughs> Alright, Kafu Panda! Alright, we have Brother Mikey! May the Lord be with you! I mean, Kung Fu Panda. All right, next round. Brother Lion versus Kung Fu Panda. May the Lord be with you. All right, good job, Kung Fu Panda. Brother B and Kung Fu Panda. May the Lord be with you. Good job, Brother B. If you pick Brother B, good job! Alright guys, welcome to a special presentation we have from our ALC Kids Animals. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, where is my Spider-Man? Alright guys, today we're covering struggle and there's a lot of things we can learn from struggle. Number one, we can develop a deeper relationship with God. Just like we do with our friends and our families. During the good and bad times, we develop bonds and with God we can even develop a deeper one through His love, comfort, and peace. God is waiting for you. Reach out to Him. You know what? God loves you. Very, very much. God will bring you peace. Trust God. Alright guys, number two. We have to admit we need help with healing with certain areas of our heart. Not only that, but we also helps us to prevent repeating past mistakes. A lot of the time, we tend to repeat what we don't re repair. And a lot of times we go to people, places and things, and it never helps. We need to go to God. We don't need help for the short term. We need help for the long term. Don't take your eyes off of Jesus. Believe in Jesus. Trust God when life doesn't make sense. With God, our struggles makes us stronger. Number three, you can be better equipped to help others in need. And don't forget, guys, whatever you experience, no matter the hardship, no matter the struggle, it can turn into compassion. And when other people are suffering, you can tend to help them out with love through Jesus. God can turn your pain into a blessing. You are never alone with Jesus. God is always there for you. Number four, we need to focus on God and not the problem or situation. We need to pray. We need to read our Bibles. We need to worship God. We have to have all our thoughts, feelings, and our emotions on God. Count your blessings.
Number five. We have to listen and acknowledge when God is speaking and giving us instructions. But not only that, when He's speaking to you. A lot of the times we don't want to listen to God. We have to have our hearts and our minds available to listen, to hear, and to do what God is asking us to do. Focus on God. Remember guys, struggles don't last forever, but Jesus does. Do you focus on the struggle or do you focus on Jesus? God provides. God will sustain you. God will rescue you. God will give you strength. God will give you hope. Rely on God. God will see with you. Let go. Trust God. Remember, guys, God never forget you. He will always fight for you. You know what I say with me? God will never forget you. He will always fight for you. Again, louder. God will never forget you. He will always fight for you. Close our eyes and let's pray. Sister Bear, let's pray. God, our struggles are real. Our struggles are hard. God, sometimes we don't know if we'll be able to make it. But help us. Give us the strength. Give us the wisdom. Comfort us. Encourage us, Father. Help us to rejoice in our sufferings because we know that when you allow sufferings, it produces perseverance. Father, nothing can come into our lives without your permission. Nothing, Lord God, can bring us down without you knowing about it and you just being there and holding us and getting us through. Father, whoever needs you right now, I pray right now in the name of Jesus where they sit, where they stand, where, where you find them, God, I pray that you meet their need. Let them know, God, that they are not alone. Reassure them, Lord God, of your presence that you see them, that you know them, that you feel with them exactly how they're feeling, Lord God. Help them to trust in you. Build up the, their character, Lord God, that their hope, Lord God, in you will not waver because that's what happens, Lord God. When we go through our struggles, our hope and our character is being built up in you and we can rejoice, Lord God, that we are gonna be with you forever. We give you honor and we give you glory for everything you're doing in our lives. We worship you, we praise your name, even though how hard it might say to worship you, Lord God. Let it be coming out of our spirits and out of our hearts just to worship you and thank you because you are faithful. You will provide. You will get us through. You will do what you said you were going to do in our lives. We worship you, Jesus, and we thank you. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Ah, yes. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever it is that you are watching us from. If you're tuning in, that means that you are aware that this coming up week on Monday is National No More S'more Spider-Man Day. <coughs> I mean, S'more Day. There you go. Um, and then Saturday is National Honey Bee Day. 
Ah, yes, Mr. B. Great to see you in my office. It's your lucky day on Saturday. Hope you have a blessed day. Now get out of my office before I call pest control. And you keep stinging. All right. And on a better note, that same Saturday is also National Relaxation Day. And oh boy, have I been waiting to relax now that that evil menace Spider-Man is no more. Oh, I get to relax and just tuck myself in with Spider-Man. <laughs> Thought I told you not to wash it, dang it! Anyways, Spider-Man is no more. And now, the city and all of the children out there are resting ashore that Spider-Man is no more. Ha ha ha! Ha Gotta go wash this! Hey MJ, you can give me a call back. I don't know what to do now. Should I be Spider-Man still? Crime rates are going up. Kids aren't even going to children's church anymore because I'm not there. I don't know what to do. Please give me a call back. Okay, bye.